Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're doing the Cobra Belly Bracelet. This is one that we've surprisingly not done on this channel before. And it's not a new weave by any means, but I really like the look of it with neon colors along with kind of a, a neutral pattern. For this project, you're gonna need about twice as much paracord as you would for a normal Cobra bracelet. I calculated it out to be about one foot of cord per color makes one inch of weave. So that's two feet total per inch of weave. So I've got regular old green here, and then a black and charcoal diamonds color, and a half inch buckle. Then I'll be building it on a jig, but you don't necessarily need one of these at home, it just holds things steady on camera. Let's dive in. So what I like about this pattern is that it has this nice neon river running down the middle of it. So whatever color you want that to be, start with that one. And we're gonna fold it in half, and put that bend through our buckle, with the usual cow hitch, like that. And then bring the other two ends back to the other end of the buckle and put those down through. You guys know the drill by now. Then once you've done that, we'll bring in our jig and snap it into place. My jig is set up for eight inches, but obviously do whatever your wrist size is plus one inch. So we'll do one knot first before we add in our second color. That's just one half of the cobra knot, like that. And before we tighten it down, we want to bring in that second color. So find the middle of that one as well, and run it through right above that knot that you just tied. Just like that, and then we can tighten it down, making sure that our center strands are nice and tight in there. There we go. So what you want to keep track of while making this, since we're going to be switching back and forth between the two colors, is that the green is always going to lead the pattern. So we just made a knot with green. So now we're going to grab onto that second color and do the same thing. Um, but it's important to remember which cords that next knot is being tied around. So since this cord here went over the top, it started on our right side going over to the left, we want to do the same with our gray. So take that right side cord, and that's going to go over the top. But when you're going over the top with your secondary color, you want to go under that first strand, and then over the top of everything else. So right now we've got that. And then our cord that usually goes around the back is going to do the same thing as it always does. Go over that first cord, down and around the core, and up through that loop. Once you cinch that one down, it should look like this. With this green cord coming out the bottom and this one kind of sticking up over the top. Make sure those are up nice and tight. And then we're gonna switch sides starting with our green. So that left side cord is gonna go over the top, that one down and around. And we're not gonna include any of the black cords in that knot. Just like that. And then we're gonna be switching back over to our black. And since we went left to right over the top, we're gonna to be using the left cord again. So like I said before, it goes under that first cord, but then over the top of everything else, like that. And then this cord down and around and up through the loop on the far, far left. And you're starting to see the pattern now. We've got this zigzag green going down the middle. We'll do one more knot. Again, changing sides again. So we're going back to right to left over the top. Like that. We'll do right to left with black. and one more instance of our pattern is complete. So now that you know the pattern, we'll just keep on repeating that down the length of the bracelet.
Once we're done, we can take it off the jig. And if you want, you can just cut the ends and melt them right where they are. I'll do it a little bit nicer today and just loosen that last knot or even two knots there and feed the cords that are pointing up. So this green and this gray and just bring them down to the bottom and through that last loop. So now we have both those cords going down through. We'll just tighten that bottom loop before pulling these cords both tight. After all your cords are pulled tight, we can go ahead and cut and melt them. So there's our bracelet with all the ends finished nicely on the bottom. I should probably let you guys know, I used less cord than I thought I would on this one. I must have pulled these knots tighter or something, um, because six feet of each color will do you just fine. You won't need the full eight feet. Um, so that's on a eight inch bracelet, six feet of each color will work. I really like how this one turned out. It has that fun pattern down the middle, and you really don't have to learn any new knots. If you're used to the Cobra and want to try something new, this is a good option. As always, we'll put links in the description to where you can find 550 paracord, um, this half inch buckle that we use today, and we'll also toss this jig in there as well. This is a 30 inch jig, so it's bigger than you need for this project. I like it because it's nice and heavy and stays in place better, um, but you can actually make any project up to 30 inches, so it's good for rifle slings and things like that. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.